Diseases of the Circulatory System Number 1. High Cholesterol High cholesterol is having too much of a fatty substance called cholesterol in the blood which can be harmful to the heart and blood vessels. These are the blood vessels with little to no cholesterol, and they are safe. However, the arteries with medium to high cholesterol levels can be harmful. The cause of high cholesterol is too much consumption of foods high in bad cholesterol. High cholesterol usually has no symptoms. To prevent high cholesterol, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods. The treatments for high cholesterol are medications that remove cholesterol from the blood. Number 2. Arteriosclerosis and Atherosclerosis Arteriosclerosis and atherosclerosis are conditions characterized by the hardening and narrowing of arteries due to the high consumption of a fatty diet resulting in fat deposits on the blood vessel linings. These deposits cause the arteries to become rigid, potentially restricting blood flow and increasing the risk of heart disease and other vascular issues. This is the normal blood vessel that allows blood to flow freely, and this is the blood vessel with plaque or ateromas that restrict the blood to flow. High blood pressure High cholesterol and cigarette smoking are the causes of arteriosclerosis. The symptoms of arteriosclerosis are chest pain, transient ischemic attack, and kidney failure. To prevent arteriosclerosis, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods. The medications that reduce plaque and surgical procedures are the treatments for arteriosclerosis. Number 3. High blood pressure or hypertension. Hypertension is the force of blood pushing against the walls of arteries for a long time. In adults, normal blood pressure is considered to be around 120 over 80 millimeters of mercury (mmHg), while high blood pressure is 130 over 80 millimeters of mercury. This is the circumference of a normal blood vessel, prehypertension and hypertension. On the other hand, systolic pressure is measured between when the heart contracts, while diastolic pressure is measured between beats when the heart relaxes. Hypertension is caused by an unhealthy diet, lack of physical activity, obesity, cigarette smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, kidney problems, and adrenal gland tumors. Most people do not have any symptoms, but a few people may have headaches, shortness of breath, and nosebleeds. To prevent hypertension, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods. The medications that relax blood vessels, regular checkups, and monitoring blood pressure are the ways to treat hypertension. Number 4. Myocardial Ischemia Myocardial ischemia is a condition where the heart muscle doesn't receive enough blood and oxygen, typically because of narrowed or black coronary arteries. The heart doesn't receive enough blood either due to plaque narrowing the artery or because the plaque ruptured, blocking the artery and causing a blood clot. The causes of myocardial ischemia are blood clot, atherosclerosis, and coronary artery spasm. Neck or jaw pain, shoulder or arm pain, fast heartbeat, nausea and vomiting, sweating and fatigue are the symptoms of myocardial ischemia. To prevent myocardial ischemia, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods. The medications that can reduce blood clots and procedure to improve blood circulation are treatments for myocardial ischemia. Number 5. 
heart attack. Heart attack occurs when blood flow to a part of the heart is blocked, usually due to a blood clot or plaque in the coronary arteries causing damage to the heart muscle. This is what a normal artery looks like. In contrast, these are the partial black, completely black arteries that can cause a heart attack. Black arteries and coronary artery disease are the causes of heart attack. The symptoms of heart attack are pressure in the chest, aching sensation that spreads to neck or jaw, cold sweat, fatigue, shortness of breath, and nausea. Heart attack can be prevented by avoiding cigarette smoking, exercising regularly, and eating healthy foods. The medications that slow down the heartbeat, surgical procedures, and cardiac rehabilitation are the treatments for heart attack. Number 6. Heart Failure Heart failure is the unstable behavior of the heart cannot pump sufficient blood for the body's needs. The normal heart pumps normal volume of oxygen rich blood to body, while the heart in failure pumps reduced volume of oxygen rich blood to the body. This is because the muscle of the ventricle in a heart in failure becomes thinner compared to a normal heart, reducing the heart's contractibility. As a result, it fails to pump blood throughout the body. The causes of heart failure are faulty heart valves, hypertension, abnormal heart rhythms, chronic diseases such as diabetes and AIDS. Shortness of breath, fatigue, rapid or irregular heartbeat, increased urination, chest pain, lack of appetite, and nausea are the symptoms of heart failure. To prevent heart failure, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods. The medications that decrease the heartbeat and surgical procedures are the treatments for heart failure. Number 7 is Stroke a Stroke can happen if a vessel that supplies blood to the brain either becomes blocked by a blood clot or burst. This stops blood flow and prevent oxygen from getting to the brain. A stroke can be caused by atherosclerosis or narrowed arteries due to plaque buildup, hemorrhagic or ruptured blood vessels, and ischemic or arteries blocked by blood clots. Uncontrolled hypertension, trauma from accidents, and hemorrhage are the causes of stroke. The symptoms of stroke are trouble speaking, paralysis, headache, and trouble walking. Control hypertension, do not smoke, quit smoking, exercise regularly, and eat healthy foods are the ways to prevent stroke. The medications that break up the blood clots and rehabilitation therapy are the treatments for stroke. Number 8. Anemia Anemia is the insufficient supply of red blood cells in the blood that can make a person feel easily tired. When comparing normal blood to blood with anemia, both have the same numbers of white blood cells and platelets. The difference is that in anemia, there are fewer red blood cells than in normal blood. When the body does not make enough red blood cells and destroys red blood cells, the anemia occurs. The symptoms of anemia are fatigue, pale skin, shortness of breath, dizziness, chest pain, and unexplained bruises. To prevent anemia, eat iron-rich food, take vitamins B12 and C, and eat healthy foods. The medications that help bone marrow make more red blood cells and Blood transfusion are the treatments for anemia.